Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anupam here and today we will discuss about the apnea test. Let us discuss. In the last class we have discussed how to proceed in diagnosing a patient to be brain dead. First we have to prove that patient is in coma. Then absence of motor function. Then absence of brainstem reflexes then absence of respiratory movement and if all of these are present then patient is brain death the specific part of absence of respiratory movement spontaneous this is called apnea test right there to discuss today so what is the basis of this apnea test the basis is there is brain stem it has a respiratory center. If we produce hypercarbia or hypercapnia or acute respiratory acidosis, right, then it will go and stimulate the respiratory center. In the patient, if the brain stem is functioning, then we will have respiratory movement. That means patient is not brain dead, right. However, if there is no respiratory movement, That means the brainstem is not functioning, so it indicates patient is brain dead. This is the basis of this test. Now let us see how step by step we can do apnea test. Step 1. Is prerequisite. Normothermia. normal tension and eupolemia or positive ones. Once these prerequisites are fulfilled, the next step will be pre-oxygenation. How to do pre-oxygenation? In this case, we have to give 100% FiO2 for 10 minutes and this is to prevent hypoxemia during apnea test 100% because you have to wash out all the nitrogen so that during apneic oxygenation the oxygen diffusion will be maximum right now coming to step 3 Obtain an AVG. Make sure PaO2 more than 200 millimeter of Hg and PaCO2 is between 35 to 45. Now to obtain this 35 to 45, you may have to hyperventilate the patient for some time. Now step four is the apnea test proper. Disconnect. from ventilator and here we have to provide what we call apneic oxygenation. How to provide this? Usual method is intra 
ट्रैकियल कैथेटर मेथड हियर व्हाट यू डू वी गिव सिक्स लीटर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन वाया ए कैथेटर इनसाइड द ईटी ट्यूब जस्ट एब्सॉर्ब द करायला राइट नी द स्टेप फोर व्हाट द स्टेप फाइव देन स्टेप फाइव इज डू दिस फॉर एट टू टेन मिनिट्स Why eight to ten minutes? Because when you do apnea test, the carbon dioxide increases by two to three millimeter Ag per minute. But this equation is not linear, so we have to do for eight to ten minutes for a rise of carbon dioxide of at least twenty millimeter Ag from the baseline. And during this time, what you have to do is look for chest. and abdomen movement also the most important thing will be monitor vitals especially blood pressure and spo2 right step 6 is at the end of 8 to 10 minutes again obtain abg so result can be two types chest and abdominal wall movement is positive what does it mean that means the brain stem is functioning so patient is not brain dead right however if chest and abdominal wall movement is not there in this case you have to check the abg next in the abg if pseo2 is more than 60 or delta pseo2 that is change from the baseline is more than 20 that means we have provided adequate stimulus to the brain stem but still it is not functioning because there is no movement of the chest and abdominal wall so this means the patient is brain dead and there can be another result where pseo2 is less than 60 and delta pseo2 is less than 20 change is less than 20 in this case it will be called as indeterminate what do you mean by it that means there is no movement but at the same time we have not provided an adequate stimulus to the patient or to the brain stem so this is indeterminate what you can do in this case we can do three things number 1 we can extend the current apnea test to maximum of 15 minute provided there is no hypotension or no hypoxemia this two condition if it is fulfilled you can extend the test up to 15 minute so here you can add another step is called step 7 extend the test up to 15 minute provided we the vitals are stable there is no hypoxemia right or else what you can do you can redo the apnea test lastly you can do the ancillary test for the ancillary test we have we have angiography
we have transcranial doppler we have cerebral scintigraphy and we have eeg right now while we are monitoring the vitals in the 10 minute we can face two very critical complications one will be hypotension if there is hypotension we have to fix it how to fix it give fluid or vasopressor or inotropes right and fix it and redo the apnea test because here you have to abort the test if there is hypotension abort the test and the definition of hypotension is sbp less than 90 then there can be hypoxemia by definition it is spo2 less than 85 percent for 30 seconds if it is there we have to abort the test and then fix it how to fix it we can use pre-oxygenation for 15 minutes we can use a tea piece with 12 liter of oxygen we can use a tea piece with PIP1 or you can do recruitment maneuver just prior to doing the apnea test. In this we have to fix the hypoxemia and once it is fixed we have to redo the apnea test. Right. Again if the result comes indeterminate we can go ahead and do the ancillary test. Right. So in our class today we have discussed how to do an apnea test, the basis of apnea test, step wise we have discussed how to perform the test in the bedside, what is the result and what if the result comes indeterminate what to do and what if there is some complication while doing the apnea test, how to fix it and then redo the apnea test and get a result. Thank you very much.